What's going on today, people? You already know what it is. It's your boy Tunchi and it's YBTV. Today, I just want to promote one thing. Uh, make sure y'all hit me up, man. If y'all out here and y'all a trucking company and y'all ain't looking like this every day, y'all ain't got y'all brand on y'all on y'all back, on y'all front, on y'all hat. Y'all not repping y'all brand. You, 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 you're doing it all wrong, man. You're doing it all wrong, man. That's the difference, man, between the big companies and the small companies, man. You got to look the part. You already know. This is your boy, Tunchi. Today, I want to talk to you guys about dispatches. It's kind of how I got to let down this one. Listen, when it comes to dispatchers, I want to tell y'all this thing about a lot of dispatchers. They like this thing called empathy, not sympathy feeling bad for somebody, understanding that you should feel sorry for somebody, empathizing, the ability to look at somebody and say, he's a person, a human being with feelings, just like me, that wants to go out and see his family, and he's missing out, and to be able to empathize, which means to walk in their shoes. Most of these dispatchers don't have the ability to do that. What they do is, they, they, they look at the driver as a thing instead of a person. So, what do you have to do so you can be able to get around these ridiculously uh, 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 unempathetic dispatchers? All right. Rule number one. A lot of the dispatchers don't care about your safety because some of them is put in positions where it's always get the load, get the load, get the load, get the load cover, get the load cover, get the load cover. And that's what they get. But they start to lose their ability to empathize. They start just focusing on the bottom line can you blame them some of the way yes but some of the way no because they working in a situation and an environment where it's a little bit more you you, you know well well it, it is a little bit more of a hostile work environment so you got to take that into consideration but at the same token the one thing you can't let a dispatcher do is make you mad make you sweat you just clearly tell them things like as an owner operator if a dispatcher if i'm running with a company and they give me a load that's not gonna make me money, it's going to a dead spot and they got a lot of time on I'm gonna tell them no. Uh Garcho, we got a great load for you going up to uh uh uh, uh, uh South Dakota and, and it and it delivers Monday. I can get that load there by uh Friday night. Well yeah, it it'll give you the weekend what what I wanna sit up there. Look, look, no, no thank you. But this, this, and this, and we won't be at uh, no problem, no thank you. Don't want the load. Well, I'm not going to be at, look, okay, listen, listen, Mr. Dispatch, I'm going to tell you like this. I'm an owner operator. I can take my truck anywhere I want. Now, we could work together and we will have a great, I'm talking about, like, I like you. I think you're a great person. But we will have a very good relationship. But if you think you're going to bully me and have me out here not making money, I can go home and not make money. So I'm out here to make money. So if I'm making money, you make it, the company making money. So at the end of the day, I've made a conscious decision not to run that low. It's not in the best interest of me or my company. Now, if you need a favor every blue moon, I'll do it. But this is not the time. Give me a money run. Well, I'm not going to be able to find... Well, if you're not going to be able to find me nothing, I'll fire you then and I'll take my truck to another company. You understand? So at the end of the day, I'm not, I'm not budging. You, you, you feel me? So please find me something else. Talk to you later. And especially if you're in a high area, they'll, they'll say something like, well, there's no lows. Like, you know you're in the Midwest. You know dang on well there's lows. That's where you learning your lanes of freight works good for you because sometimes you got to pick your battles. Like, let's just say you did run a load up to North Dakota and you was trying to find a load out and he'd be like, look, I've been trying my best to find you something, but I was only able to find you like a 400-mile run. It's only paying a dollar ten a mile. And you like, no, find me something better. you like, Look, that's all I can find you, man. It's, it's very hard to get it in that area. If you know lanes of freight, you know he's telling the truth. Because, like, if you run in dry van freight and you're in North Dakota, you know you know it's, it's hard to find something out of there. So sometimes you got to take that L. Or if you in Laredo running uh, uh, dry van freight, it's a little bit harder versus being in Laredo running refrigerator. It's a lot easier. So, you, you know what I'm saying? When you learn your lanes of freight, you just got to understand that a lot of them out on the other side uh, 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 on the other side of the spectrum which is on the office side the dispatchers a lot of them don't care about your bottom line because a lot of them don't empathize for another thing safety when you're dealing with the safety let me let me give you this for the dispatchers before i go i ain't gonna make this too long when you're dealing with the safety uh, of yourself and your truck and your equipment and everything 
you got to understand once again, these dispatchers are under a tremendous amount, amount of pressure to get these loads covered and, and, and you know, like to get this, these, these numbers looking good. So let me explain this to you. I want to explain this to you one time. Um, what you what you will be responsible for is making sure you're not put in a position where you put yourself and your equipment in danger to please a dispatcher. No, don't do that. If you ride on ice and you don't feel safe, pull over and tell them no. Okay, and then if they keep on pushing the issue, tell them to send it to you and write. You're like, okay, I will ride on this ice even though I don't feel safe if you send it to me and write and saying that you're going to be liable if anything happens. No, I'm not going to do that. Well, no, I'm not moving my truck. Okay? And if you ask me again, I'll have you to repeat that to DLT. Okay? Well, well, oh, okay, whatever. I just wanted to make sure you're safe. Thank you. I'm safe because I'm pulled over. Have a great day. You got that. See, the thing is, is when it comes down to it, get them to write it. Because the one thing that I want a lot of drivers, a lot of the new drivers mess up with this is thinking these things are said verbally are going to stand up in court. No, they're going to deny it. They're going to deny it. They're going to tell you to run on ice. They're going to tell you to run on sleet and snow. They're going to tell you all those things. And they're going to tell you to take that crappy load and they'll try to find you something. And you'll sit for the weekend and look stupid till Monday. And they're going to tell you all those things. And you know what's going to happen in the end? When you say, hey, this is what you told me. They're going to be like, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. So, number one, if it's something about safety, get it right. Number two, when it comes to your freight, Learn the, your lanes of freight. Learn where is a good spot and learn where is bad spots. Learn, learn all these things and just, you know, work the numbers and learn what you need to do and learn how to put your foot down when it's necessary. Now, this is the last thing I'm going to say. When you're putting your foot down, I'm never telling people to be a complete anus. You understand? Like, I'm not telling you to be rude, be disrespectful, curse the people out because they're people too. What I'm telling you is, it's a correct way to say things. No, that's not going to be profitable for me or my business. So I, I'm not taking that load. Well, this, this, and this, listen, I don't, I don't respond to threats. Well, I'll leave the company. If you feel like you're going to bully me into taking something that I don't want to take, this is my truck. I pay for the diesel. I pay for everything. The same way that I can't tell you what to do in your house, you cannot tell me what to do in my truck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this one blow and just tell you like this. You're going to respect me the same way I give you respect. You're going to give me the same respect. And I hope we got to understand it. Have a great day. Would you please find me something better? Have a great day. And you could just respectfully tell people things and get your point across without being like, man, who you think you talking to? I ain't about to run that. You run it. Tell your mama to run. No, no. You don't have to do all that. <laughs> Even though that's, that's a little bit more fun. <laughs> you already know it's your boy Tucci, man. I just wanted to put that out there for the people. You already know what it is. YBE, if you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. Watch them dispatches. YBE.